Hi, it's Nancy today. We're out in the woods having a walk. This is my marshwood side of the trail of the stream. Look at this that we see here. Now this animal has bounded. It's jumped. And you see how it's gone in deeply there and it left these two marks, which is actually four. If you look closely, you'll see there are four prints there. And it jumped up over and down into the ground again. Now, it's also got slide marks from the underbelly. Now it's here, we see it's a, a triangular sort of mark. Oh, it's hard to tell in the snow. Anyway, but what this animal has done is bound it across. Now, an animal that does that is a fisher. So, uh, let me just check what the fisher um, looks like in the book. In my animal textbook. Oops, sorry. Um, a fisher, 47. No, 52. Okay. Oops. There he is. See, that's a fisher. And his prints look like this. They're together and they're separated. The they're seven inches apart, these clumps, when they're running. These look like they're together. But they're a lot more than seven inches apart, aren't they? This is like two feet apart. Okay, let's check out the next one. Um, how about... Oh wait, the fisher stride running is about one to one to four feet apart. And they're clustered together, where do they go? Like that. So you see there's a pair there. Okay, now let's compare this with an otter. Sorry, I can't. Here's a mink. Now, mink. This is a mink. Is a very small animal. How about the otter? I see the otter. They're in threes, generally, and they have a big line between them. Or because the snow is so deep. I think this is a fisher. Fishers are dangerous. They will kill anything. They'll jump up and bite it in the neck. They can even win against a bear. But luckily, they'd rather not fight. So if you don't corner them, they'll go away. Okay, let's follow. Now he came along this way. I don't see his tracks here. Turn you off. Bye-bye.